This Toyota iGo might just be the best car you'll ever get. The reason? We always remember our first car. And largely it's going to be the car you love the most because this will be obviously the first opportunity for you to explore and be free. Secondly, you'll do many things in your first car that you'll always remember. But what's clever about this is that it's not just a good first car, it's also a popular option for mums who don't want anything too posh. Not suggesting that your mum doesn't want a posh car, she probably does, but many mums like the idea of just having a no-fuss automobile. Or they are like my mum and the idea of having a posh car just has far too many things in it potentially that will confuse her. She won't understand what DAB means and forget knowing what goes in a USB socket. Then there's the reverse camera, unnecessary feature and the X-Shift Auto. Who needs auto when you can change gear? I don't understand. I don't need all of that. What is Spotify? On the other hand, of course, if your mum is young and cool, this car has another purpose. It is small, extremely easy to manoeuvre and park. It's nimble. It is the definitive nimble car that you can get. Easy to drive around in and it's designed for all of these really cool sort of shopping areas in Japan where the streets are about that big. That's what this is for. And it also looks like a small animal. She'll give it a name. This one, for instance, is called Colin. Colin is obviously frugal. He understands the challenges of today's economy. As a result, he's most at home in a city. That's a place where most people used to go to work in offices. There, the CO2 is low, but you'll still pay £150 a year VED. This three-cylinder engine is essentially all you need. It's about a thousand miles to the gallon. It's not, but I'm seeing something like a hundred miles to the gallon on this cycle here. The engine note is actually nice. I think it's deliberately gruff to make you feel like it's doing something. And it actually does do something. When you pull out of junctions, you can feel it's got enough power. That's it though. Out of junctions to a safe speed, that's all you need. There you go. Indicator sound, very nice. Loud enough to calm you but also remind you to turn it off. BMW ones don't do that. That's why everyone is always flashing BMW drivers on the road. Indicators on, mate. Indicators on. They go past, don't they? Flash the hazards. Indicators on. Thank you. The best way to describe the boot is simple, not very big. In fact, you couldn't really say this was a boot, but that's not the point of this. You can get two bags of shopping in here, two large bags of shopping or one bag of shopping and your water content for the week, right? Seats do go down though if you have to do a big shop, but this is more for, oh, I need to get a few bits. These um, little bits of painted plastic apparently can be changed depending on the color. You need to look that up, but I saw on a Japanese website people swapping them over, a mate saying, no, if you want white ones, I can give you my white ones. But anyway, I'm not sure I would have this colour. I would have black with bits of white, white bits of black. The red is very, it's Nan's car, isn't it? Also, you've got a metal sounding door here. Am I being, I'm probably being, sorry, mate. Another thing I really like is the way that this has so much room to get in. The seat is huge and for people with disabilities, almost perfect to be able to slot themselves in and then put their legs around. If you don't go for the auto version, you'll be delighted with the manual assistant that cleverly tells you when to change gear. Shift. Shift. Sh shift. No. There we are. Oh, shift. New, they start from £12,690. Toyota are offering 0% finance, 1300 deposit, 169 a month, with a £4,000 final payment. And of course, used ones will be a lot cheaper. I even saw one of these, this shape, on Autotrader for about four and a half grand. And that works out at £141 a month over a three year loan. Or get dad to buy it because that's even cheaper. From 2018, Apple CarPlay is standard on one of these. So if you are looking at a used one, 2018 is the year. What other four and a half grand sort of cars going to have Apple CarPlay? Probably very, uh, no, actually a, a, few, a lot. 
coarser probably. Yeah, many of them are, but okay. That, they're not gonna be as reliable as this. In fact, there was a press release yesterday from Which saying that Toyota is now number two in the world again. Number one is Lexus for reliability and of course Toyota own Lexus. The sound system isn't great in here as you would expect for that money but there is some uh, EQ adjustments so you can change it depending on what you're listening to so I thought that was actually okay but you'll go down Halfords won't you and you'll get yourself some shelf speakers and you'll be at traffic lights. Apart from the very comfortable seat and massive amount of headroom and vision in the front the materials aren't the best and because it's designed to be deliberately small there's not that much room in the back either which to me is a good thing because if you can have less people in the car the safer you are. I don't want to patronise you if you are 17, 18 but the more people you have in a car the more likely you are to have a horrible accident and that's because you will be distracted by somebody in the back mucking around. For the best safety it's really just you and boyfriend or girlfriend, right, equals safety. Well done Toyota. See I bet they've done that on purpose. Now the elephant in the room, this, the Fiat 500, the new one. Many would argue it's a much more fashionable car, more well equipped. It's the same sort of money, if not less, and this one is designed with more, dare I say, masculinity. The Igo, on the other hand, is a more sporty and assertive look. It has more usable power and it has four doors instead of two. So for driving alone on paper, before I get lent one from Fiat, I'd probably go with the Igo. Because everything about this is really easy to drive. And I am a big fan of any car that has a huge steering wheel. This has a huge steering wheel. It's a feeling of, right, I am steering. This is a very important task. Yeah. And if you didn't want to go for a solid colour like this one, then what about something a little more individual, like this JBL edition? It's the same 1 litre, 72 horsepower engine, but with a sound system and lots of very in orange or mandarin. And for £895, you can even have a fun roof, so you can fun yourself to your heart's content. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the sort of car you get when you go on holiday. You know when you hire one because you just want to, you're bored of sitting by the pool, you want to get around. So this is a euro a day, you get in it and you go, oh, I go, oh, when I get back to England, I'm going to get one of these because I love this car. This is this has made us, no, it never worked. You get back to England, you want a Range Rover, 1,200 pounds a month. I'll find the money, don't worry. Yes, there is road noise. And yes, it's a bit tinny, but that's minimalism for you, right? Besides, you won't even notice if this is your first car, you'll have Chris Brown on. And for mums, if she's got to have a super mini, she may as well have one she can rely on. 